I'm here with the ultimate baller shot caller. <laughs> Ballerina isn't a strong enough word because Aww. she has Gregory Hines kind of footwork when it comes to that discus. <laughs> None other than the legend that is, Sister uh -huh. Valerie Allman. Wow. Valerie, what's going on? That fam? was the greatest doing? intro I've ever heard. Listen, I'm a journalist with the journalist school, as we say, the truth never expires. It's all facts, my friend. Let me ask you something, season's over. What is that go-to meal? I know you love your pizza. I know you love your track town pizza. Yep. Is that it? Is there something more? <laughs> you are reading my mind. I'm about to walk to Track Town Pizza and get a track and field combo with a side of ranch. That's the go-to right you, away. You have to explain. What is this ranch on pizza? Okay. Truthfully, I was kind of a hater. And then my coach literally at Track Town Pizza was like, Valor, you need to try it. I tried it and now I'm hooked. Like, I can't eat pizza without ranch. It's like... It's like the peanut butter and jelly of pizza. Like they just work, they work perfectly. Oh my gosh, like that's high praise from the goat. <laughs> like dang, okay, well I'm gonna go get me some Hidden Valley and just slap it on the pepperoni real quick. <laughs> I'm with that. You had an incredible season, mm -hmm. but I need to know, the people need to know, the throws don't get the amount of love and respect that they deserve. How hard is what you do? Explain it to the common folk basically. It's, it's quite hard, you know, Discus is an event where you spend hours preparing in the weight room, in the ring, and you put so much work into trying to do something that happens within a second and a half. So to be focused, to be dialed in, to not let adrenaline affect the stress of your body, it's so hard to constantly be throwing far distances. Um, so when you walk into the ring, so much of it is trying to make complex thoughts simple. How do I really have one thing that I work on in the throw that brings it all together? So to do that over a course of the season is, to me, it's a really great challenge. Last question. Let's say Food Network caught wind of how awesome you are, and they said, sister, we're gonna give you any bread that your heart desires, bread? a lifetime supply. I'm talking Pepperidge Farms. Who just said Pepperidge Farms? Uh, Sinclair Johnson said Hawaiian rolls, so we're rolling with that. We're talking all Outback, Olive Garden, Texas Roadhouse. Oh my gosh. Whatever, lifetime supply, never ending. What bread are you rolling with? Lifetime supply mm -hmm. of bread. Oh my goodness gracious. Well. I don't want to tell you this, but I'm going to tell you. I've had the debate many times with people. If you could have a lifetime supply of appetizers and bread and butter or chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. Which would you go? I'm going to have to go with the chips and salsa. And I'm going to have to go with the Texas H-E-B brand of chips. Those, they, insane. So they crispy, slap. so salty, so like perfectly nestled together so you get like multiple chips in one bite. So I'm, I would have to go with that over the bread. I'm sorry, bread. When you're Valerie Allman, you make the rules, you set the precedence. Appreciate you, fam. Of course.